Fast HTML is a new generation web framework for scalable web application with minimal and compact code. Fast HTML apps are just Python code. You can install it as any Python library by creating a virtual environment, then pip install Python HTML. For a minimal app, there is a documentation site. You can paste the code there and create a main.py file. This code snippets create a simple HTML element structure with a paragraph inside a div and sets up a hyperscript event listener to trigger an HTTP GET request to the slash change endpoint when the element is interacted with. Adding interactivity is super easy thanks to HTMX just modify the file to add this function. Now you have a page with clickable element that changes the text when clicked. When clicking on this link, the server will respond to an HTML partial. This hypermedia-based approach for web development is a powerful way to build application. You can add variable section to a URL by marking them with variable underscore name. Your function then receives variable underscore name as a keyword argument but only if it's the correct type. Even in the fast HTML, you can render markdown too. We can build our own FT components and combine them with the other components. The simplest method is defining them as a function. You can see the code on the screen. For convenience and security, Fast HTML has a mechanism for storing small amounts of data in the user's browser. We can do this by adding a session argument to the route. Fast HTML sessions are Python dictionaries and we can leverage to our benefit. Fast HTML supports live reloading which means it watches for any changes to your code and automatically refreshes the web page in your browser. To enable live reloading, simply replace Fast HTML in your app with Fast HTML with live reload then in your terminal run uvcorn with the reloading enabled so this was fast html in two minutes i suggest you to check out their docs they are super good and don't stop watching paxed